Welcome back to another video guys. This is your host Junior Garcia. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tira la campanita, ding, 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 and leave a comment below. Today we're at the renovation job. Finally passed a lot of inspection. Wait, wait, wait. Let's hit the intro. Hey guys, welcome to another remodel. We are in another remodel. Keep watching. So guys, we're here at the renovation job. Let me start showing you these little different rooms that we have, right? So this is the insulation. So this is sound insulation because our client wanted to have this type of insulation in between the three different rooms. So if one of the kids is playing an instrument, the other kid won't be disturbed by it, right? So this is actually one of the rooms. So the framing inspection pass, the electrical inspection pass, the fire pass, and also the HVAC pass. So now the only thing that we need is just a, a couple final things in the plumbing and we're gonna get that done. Tomorrow we're gonna have the plumbing inspection and we're definitely gonna pass that. And now they gave us permission to install 5H drywall. So I want you to look at this the side right here. So this is 5H drywall. Why did they use 5H drywall? This is the reason. Because this is an attic space converted into a, almost of a li livable space. So they wanted to maintain this a fire rated place, a fire rated, you know, room through the whole attic, right? The other thing is that the other option was to put a whole sprinkler system you know how much that was gonna, it's gonna cost thousands and thousands of dollars. So let me walk you around through the different rooms. So this is actually the hallway. You got to the first room. This is a full bathroom. So it's gonna be a standing up shower, a toilet, and then you're gonna have a little vanity. So let me, let me go in and kind of point to it. This is gonna be the stand up shower, right? Uh, this is gonna be the toilet that's gonna be cut down, right? Then this is the little vanity. And then over here, we're gonna have a little small shelving. And that's why we kind of framed it out. So we can anchor uh, the new shelving onto that two by six. So like the other rooms, we put soundproof insulation, right? Um, as well as this room. This is definitely gonna be, uh, we call it the sitting room slash TV room area. And then this is gonna be the other room. So everything here is already drywall and you're probably going to be seeing these little different openings. There's like five different openings. They're just little closet space in the attic that we're going to make custom doors for. All the hi hats are laid out. And then every room here, there's three different carbon monoxide and fire alarms. I apologize for that. Um, in the room. So it's gonna be one here, one there, and then one in the hallway as well. The HVAC is already set and you can see all the ductwork there. So, you know, the question about this, you know, people wanna know, listen, I'm doing a renovation. I'm thinking about doing a plan of renovation for my attic. How much would it cost? You know, um, how much would it be to do something? So a uh, renovation for your attic can go as somewhere from 50,000 to about 120,000. Why? The variables is this, flooring. Are you gonna do porcelain tile through the whole flooring? Or are you just gonna do carpet, right? Are you, um, you know, we're doing drywall. In this case, we couldn't do half, half inch because it had to be fire rated. Are we just doing a couple of lights? Are we doing LED recess lighting? Are we doing tiles to the whole bathroom, right? Um, in this case, we, we went excessive with the, the insulation, right? Dímelo, Elias. Buenas tardes, Junior. Buenas tardes, papito. So guys, I want to take it a second and show you the plants, right? So I'm not sure if you can actually get to see uh, the plants here. Juan, guántame aquí, por favor. This is actually the, the whole third floor, and this is where the TV room is going to be. So the shower area is gonna be, right? Uh, this is called the sitting room or slash TV room. And then where we're actually at now, this is the sitting room area. And then this is gonna be the office space, right? We wanted to show you this because a set of plans may cost somewhere from 3,500 to 5,500, depending on one, the state that you live, two, 
also the, the severity of and the complexity of the plans, right? If it's four or five different pages, it's gonna cost you a lot, right? But if it's one simple page like this, it's gonna cost you somewhere from $25 to $3,500 for a set of plans, right? In the state of New Jersey. If you have a cousin, it's probably gonna be free. I wanted to share that, right? Because people wanna know how much are gonna be the set of plans. How much were the permits here? The permits were here roughly about eight, nine hundred dollars to do this type of renovation. Every state is totally different, but it's a permit for electrical, the HVAC, the framing, building, plumbing, and so forth, right? So that kind of en encompass that whole permit fee. The homeowner actually pays for that, right? Not the contractor. Saying that, how much does something like this cost? I wanted to get that because you're like $50,000. That's not a lot. I can do that tomorrow, right? But I said $50,000 to $120,000 because you might want fire rated doors. You might want solid core uh, decorative door. You may want mahogany doors. I don't know. So that might bring the price right back up. So on a standard, you're looking somewhere around that price. $50,000. 50 to 80,000 is what you're gonna pay, right? If you're going a little high end, you're gonna probably pay more about 120. So let me show you around. So, so what happens is in a situation like this, come here. In a situation like this. Este no tiene derecho de autor. This guy right here, likes to watch soccer games at lunch, and that's a no-no, guys. You don't watch soccer games lunch. At lunch, it's permitted, but during work times. Wait, why, you got karate? What do you know, karate? What's going on? No, todo es trabajo de... Todo no es soccer. So guys, this is basically the update of what's going on in the interior renovation at a job. We're moving along. The next step after all the drywall is installed, we're gonna we'll do the mud job. So the people that don't know what mud job is, tape and spackle all the joints and stuff, make this all nice and smooth. And then we're gonna lightly sand this, and then we'll be ready to start installing the doors, the trim work, the base molding, install the custom doors. Then we'll install the laminate floor for this one. And then also we'll start in the bathroom. So this is a growing progress. We want to turn this project back to him by June 25th to June 30th. You know, we want to turn that this whole thing and be done with it in 30 more days. Keep watching.